Ooh, there we go. There's number three. Okay, come on. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the vlog. Devin and I have gotten up bright and early. It is uh, almost 7 o'clock now, but we launched uh, quite a while ago. We've been just kind of navigating through the wooded forest of Lake Nakanish down here in Texas. And, uh, yeah, she's on the trolling motor. We're kind of working a frog. We're about to get down deep, if that's what it calls for. We haven't got too many blow-ups, but we're making some of our first few casts of the morning. You guys come along. Shining, 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 yeah. Do -do 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 -do. Throw the red rising sun. <laughs> here we go. Y'all, the trees here are just insane. I mean, the place is nuts. Devin and I have started off throwing almost everything in the tackle box, it feels like already. We've gone through the chatterbait, the shaky head, natural colors right there. She's now got on a pink swim bait to try and switch things up, a killer swim. And then I have uh, thrown the frog in the shallows and in some of the depths, because we've seen some videos on this lake. People are throwing them just about everywhere around all the thick cover, around all these trees. Uh, but we've been tossing the crankbait, getting down on a lot of their level. We've been seeing a lot of smaller fish hanging out around 10 to 15 feet. This guy's getting Getting down in there, no bites yet. I threw the bluegill swim bait. Uh, we tossed around the plopper this morning, and we've also, uh, well, you know what? I'm not, I shouldn't say also. I'm about to throw a weightless sanko. It's getting to that point. She did throw the shaky head, but maybe just a slower fall will entice them. And we've worked everything from like five feet down to 20 feet, hitting just about every depth in the column at those points, at those deeper points. And oh, boom! Stump in the side of the boat and we're just trying to figure out where exactly these guys are at. I mean, we've been out there next to the boat lane where it's a little deeper, and then we've come all the way over here to the shallows. No love for us just yet, but uh, I think they're gonna hit soon. Pardon the emptiness in this box. That's a new setup over here. So I gotta fill it with a lot of terminal. Look at these guys though. I think they're like 1 8 ounce. I don't know, they're like tungsten. They're real tiny, real tiny weights. I got these on uh, Carl's bait and tackle. Okay, so trust me when I say this small little hook right here will definitely get caught on these trees. So what you want to do when you rig your Nico rigs is uh, point the hook to the back, right? So what's going to happen is as you're working this right here, the hook should be actually hitting this point on any cover before it gets to the point. So that's the idea behind the Nico rig. Let's get this thing out. In this, in this group of trees, right? Well, see that log sticking out? Yeah. I'm just going to throw right. Here. Do I have one? As soon as we get out here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> as soon as we get out here to the lane. <laughs> I got one on the crank. All right, there we go. First oh, one in the morning. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, where's those pliers, baby? The Guggen pliers. Uh, I think they're on the step. <laughs> First one of the day, y'all. Coming out here on the Grande Recon. As soon as we get back out to the boat lane, uh, which people have told us is good, um, I, this time of year people have said the, that the boat lane is actually a really good spot. There's not too many people who really run this lake. So, and we're at like the very edge here. There we go, man. First one, and he's a little misshapen. He hit the crank and uh, he hit it good. I was like, wait a minute. This can't be a fish, surely not. We've been fishing for like an hour, hour and a half. And uh, yeah, I was questioning like the water temps and it's no different here than where we were. I was about to make a move back to the beginning of the, back to the beginning, <laughs> back to the area of the lake we dropped in at, which is way on the other side of this place. Anyways, we're gonna get him back in the water. I was thinking maybe the temp was well thrown off, but I guess not. And uh, yeah, we're gonna fish here for a minute. But we had just made that move over here to not necessarily some deeper water, but just a different area entirely. And as soon as we came out here, that was like first cast on the crank. There we go, fish. There we go. Yep. Oh, I think he came off. He came off. Oh, no. All right, y'all. First big move of the morning, 8.30 a.m. We're going to hit more of the open water uh, close to the ramp. We ventured pretty far back into the stumps. Got one on the crankbait. As soon as we moved over here, another gentleman just pulled up. He pulled one in on the crankbait right off the bat, and then it's been kind of iffy since. So we're ready to change things up. We'll catch you guys on the other side of the lake. Well, 
we're starting things off close to the dam, hitting one of the only docks in the entire lake. Devin just gave that a roll with the T-Rig. Now what I'm doing is rigging her up, or me really. I'm just gonna get it to where we have two crankbaits because they've been smashing those deep divers. We've got this uh, secondary pattern and I'm gonna untie the jackal gain trail because it hasn't been getting too many hits. Put them back in the big bait box here. Hey Zeke, come aboard. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You come got on. it. Come on. Oh, he's upset because it's his first time. Come on, come on. There Good go. boy. All right, y'all. Well, we made it to the first spot with Zeke, and he is chilling. Zeke, boop. <gasps> Say what's up to everybody. It's his first time out on the hot tamale since we first got it, and when he was on it that time, it wasn't on the water. So this is his first experience. Let's try and get some fish with Zeke on here and see how he reacts. Did you take off the Texas rig you said or no? Switching things over to the Nico rig, y'all. We might have to do some uh, finesse fishing and also maybe some Texas rigs in the grass edge here. We are going to give that a shot for a minute. Uh, Zeke is ready to see us catch a fish, aren't you, buddy? Look at him. He's like, Weston, they're right there on that point. There's a fish, literally right there. All right, guys, so the bite's been a little quiet. We're closing in on about 11 o'clock. We've been out here since about 6.30. Um, I have gotten the one bite today on the Nico rig and I missed it. So we're gonna go ahead, regroup, go back to the cabin, uh, load things up, possibly go try another lake, so stick with us. There's probably about nine or 10 other boats on the water. We've seen a lot of people making moves, not really getting a lot of fish in their boats as well, so it might just be a little off. I think this is a perfect time to go ahead and hop to another nearby lake that we had on the agenda. So we'll catch you there. Come on. Well, y'all, we stopped back at the cabin. We are cooking up some lunch, and by we, I mean, Devin is taking care of lunch. I'm over here getting some editing done. Got the, uh, yeah, the whole thing. Zeke's here, he's chilling. We did have a successful first time out on the boat, didn't we, Zeke? Yep, that was a lot of fun. One fish in the boat this morning. We're gonna go hit a different lake this evening. So I've got, a, there's a lot of hype around this one for me. We, we did some research on this one. It's, um, I'm not gonna spoil a lot. It's, it's pretty dope. You guys are gonna like this one we hit later today. Um, but yeah, let's eat first. Hey man, lunch was delicious. We have made our way, y'all, to Lufkin City Hall. The lake we're gonna hit, you actually have to get a permit just to fish. And so I think they offer like a three day for 15 bucks annual for something longer than you probably need, so don't worry about that. Anyways, this place is uh, secluded, a hidden lake in Texas, man, a hidden gym we hear. It looks uh, a little sketchy too. You cannot canoe, you can't kayak, you can't jet ski. None of that stuff, man. We didn't bring Zeke. We actually put him, we actually left him at the cabin because there's alligators in this one, apparently. If we see one, we are going to be cranking out the zoom lens and uh, giving you the close up look. But we hope to catch some big bass too because the place, the lake looks absolutely amazing, guys. Some huge bass have been caught out of this place and it's very grassy, a lot less trees than the last lake we hit. So we might be throwing some bigger swim baits, not really worrying about jeopardizing some of these high dollar lures. Let's go ahead and get in here and get these permits. Uh oh. Eight people have been here today. What? And then you put your permit number, your time in, your time out, and then how you can choose to put the fish that you caught. One person caught 14 fish today. What? Uh, 13 under four pounds and one in between four to seven. So it's pretty cool. God, it's like playing a game. This is <laughs> like, crazy. What the, what? what the heck? So. So this one's in there. There we go. Somewhat. There we go. All right. Well, access granted. Let's go hit the water. All right, man. First cast for me is going to be with the Chatterbait. This place looks so cool. The grass is only like a foot below the surface. Uh, I think swim baits are going to be the key player here. I mean, like a Texas rig is just not going to do it. I think you got to throw, at least in this area of the lake, something just moving right along the top here. Uh, a frog could get it, but I'm not quite sure. Maybe wait till the storm gets a little closer and start throwing some top water. See what happens. Maybe something like a plopper. Uh, this chatterbait, like I'm already just catching stuff even with a solid, consistent crank and reel. So yeah, I'm thinking a weedless setup. And is that a fish or is that, is that a fish? I cannot even tell. What do I have here? Chatterbait I think is on. You know what's wrong? The drag is not set. This drag is like not set. I literally have a fish running with a chatterbait, like third cast here. Wow, oh, that was a good one. We're gonna lose every good fish on this trip. That was a really big fish. That was like a four pounder. That was like a four. 
We're gonna lose every big fish on this trip. This is insane. The drag wasn't set, so I had to set that hook again, y'all. I messed that one up. Well, um, I remember I was out with Lunkers, and he told me to turn the drag down on this reel because I was throwing crankbaits on it. And that uh, was the last time I think I picked this thing up. <laughs> and then check the drag. I was like, I couldn't tell if it was a fish because it wasn't really pulling or anything, but the drag was just so loose. I was like, I felt like I was going nowhere. Okay, well, swim baits, chatter baits. We could have had that one if the net was out. <laughs> All right, well, uh, we like this lake. Is that two? Nope, that's grass. See, it felt exactly the same. This is a tricky little, that's a tricky little spot. Right where it gets dark right here. See, there's a fish, I see him scooting around. Right where it gets dark is a little hole. My chatterbait was cruising right through there. I saw him follow it in. It's showing two foot depth, which is, you know, where the grass is basically. I think this whole thing is just like a grass flat out here though. I mean, I think you can cast anywhere and pretty much get a fish right now. See, I'm, I'm casting out to what you'd think would be deep and I'm catching grass just reeling the entire time. Oh, now it says 14 feet. We just hit the drop off. Oh, something's chasing me in. Something's following the bait. Lightning and the thunder. Looks far enough away. There we go. Oh! Second good fish that came off the chatterbait. Wow. Crazy. At the same time, it also looks like it's going left. Doesn't it? Wasn't it more over there? I think it's kind of going left too. I think we're okay. Ooh, look at these stumps. Ooh. Ooh, there we go. There's number three. Okay, come on. Let me get this one. This one's big. This one's big. This one might be okay. Oh. All right. Get him in there. All right, there we go. Woo! First one landed on the old chatterbait. Thank goodness. My lord, I was calling out those stumps and how they look good. <sighs> About time we get us a little something something in the boat. All right, y'all, there you have it. Third time is the charm. I just saw these stumps and I thought this looks amazing. The combination of that mixed with the grass, I said there's got to be a fish here. I've been getting hits in this area. Boom, natural color chatterbait with a saucy swimmer trailer gets the job done. Let's get this little guy back in the water and try and get some more, man. Look, people are running back in because this storm is approaching. We've been seeing lightning right here on the horizon and now we're uh, drifting because the wind's picking up into these reeds. So let's go ahead and get this underwater shot. We're thinking we might should hit the uh, boat ramp for a second because that is kind of getting closer. So, uh, oh, there we go. There's one. All right, guys, we decided to stay and look what happens. Okay, well then. This is a solid one, guys, but nothing too crazy. It's just like a three pounder probably, but let's just get them in the net. Because this is lighter line on this uh, on this reel specifically, which is another reason why Rob told me to take that drag down. This guy's almost misshapen. Let's grab the scale. This one might be, uh, you know what? Oddly shaped skinny bass. I don't even know if this guy's going to hit three. He looks like a fatty. Yeah, there we go. Let me hit that spot lock real quick. His eyes are way sunk in. Dude, this is a, this bass has been through some stuff. He's hitting a few chatterbaits. Look guys, not even gonna hit three, but it's a lengthy bass, 2.91. He's about to thrash. Yeah, 2.91. And look, all the bass in these lakes down here have these like living organisms on them. So weird. All right, we're gonna get you back in the water. You have fun out there. <sighs> that was elegant. I've never released a bass that stupidly before, so. Before you think I release all my bass like that, just, I don't. Y'all know how I normally do the little flip and have him do the dive, right? That's exactly what I was going for. Like when you pinch those things, they're supposed to open up and he just decided to hang on and then they belly flop. So yeah, sucks to be me. Comments are gonna be good. Chatterbait is wreaking havoc. All right, let's get it some mo. I am so glad we decided to stay. That was like sketchy. We were thinking about, okay, let's just load the boat up. 
we'll put the cover on it we'll let this crazy storm pass and then we'll be right back out here well that would have been an extreme waste of time especially with how many people were probably going to do the same thing and drop right back in so yeah we just got we just got lucky on that one right there that was a we were two seconds from loading the boat up probably fishing in the craziest storm we've ever been a part of on the boat like as far as the potential goes like like do we stay or do we go <laughs> Yeah, I think you call these the, the contour lines, y'all, where it's going from essentially shallow to deep, right? And so uh, you'll see I marked that position where I caught the fish. It was right on it. And then also another spot I marked back here was uh, on it as well. So we're just going to follow that blue and white portion of the uh, graph here and cast all along it. And I bet you those bass are hanging out right where it goes from shallow to deeper water. And uh, that's kind of the strategy now. That's the strat on the old chatterbait. Oh, Maybe I should throw the frog in there once or twice just to see. You want to throw the frog? See if you get hits with half a hook. Oh, did you hear that? He's got it. I didn't even see it. I just heard it. <laughs> it's a little guy. First one on the frog. <laughs> Skiing them. <laughs> I literally, I was like, did you hear that? <laughs> and then I felt the weight. He's not even that bad. He's just not fighting. Guys, he's not even that bad. All these bass are so weird. It's like they've got a disease. He's so skinny. What is going on? Well, needless to say, another one in the boat. I feel bad because Devin hasn't got any hits yet. And I'm over here with like four fish or five bites or one of those. Sick, man. Let's get you back in here. Look at this crystal clear water. <laughs> telling Devin y'all the thing about today's bite is they don't feel like bites it just your line just gets heavy and then of course I would get a snag look at this stump right here that's some major stumpage yeah like none of them have like smashed it you're like oh my gosh they've literally just kind of uh, got that free they've literally just kind of it feels like just weight on the end of your line just like you're going through grass and so it's kind of deceiving and so we're not really just like smashing these hook sets because we're getting caught on stumps we're getting caught in grass and then a bass bites and it feels just the same as both of those. So it's, uh, it's a game of losing fish today. Let's see if we can't uh, bring a few more in the boat. Oh, oh, one just hit it. Dang, one just hit it. Missing in trouble. <gasps> you see him? He's like four pounds. He just came up to the boat after chasing the jackal. Wow. I just hit like the grass flat. What the heck? This place is insane. It would take a long time to figure it out. Yeah, we just made a move to uh, not really the center of the lake, but check this out. There's this big hump here. I mean, it's like the only one and it's looking pretty solid. Who's calling? I don't know who that is. Okay. So yeah, we're right here. Same thing. Gonna hit just the edge of it, right where it goes from shallow to deep or from shallower to deep and uh, see what happens. I guess this is the calm before the real storm, y'all. At 7.30, a big one's supposed to roll through. It is currently 6.30. It could actually be here by 7, so we're gonna have to load up fairly quickly. We're just gonna rip through this hump and see what happens, man. Yeah, it kind of looks like water, though. Just started sprinkling on us, y'all. All right, y'all, we pulled up to the final spot of the night. The storms are looking like they could be here any time. Little bit of rain already in the uh, vicinity, starting to sprinkle here and there. Devin and I have got to get on some more fish, though, before we hit the ramp. It is only 6.41. We're normally fishing for another two-plus hours. But, uh, yeah, this is going to be, this is going to put us back at the cabin a little bit ahead of schedule. <laughs> Y'all, we just saw one of the gators. That was awesome. He wasn't the one of the big ones people talk about, like 13 footers out here. That, that's insane. I'm just glad we saw one. Holy cow. 
Guys, we just hit the first few stumps out here. You gotta be extra careful. We have not been like running out here at all. I mean, we've gotten on just a little bit. I mean like quarter throttle, but it has not been anything crazy. We're actually making a move to the far end of the lake. Um, take a look at this, man. We haven't even hit like but a quarter of the lake. We literally, the ramp is uh, over here and we worked a lot of this bank. We kind of went back and forth, caught a lot of fish. Then we ended up working a little bit of that hump and deciding that they were not out there after the storm. We came back, hit some more of the bank that we hadn't hit. Now we are making a move all the way across. We're gonna try some of these points on the far end, just ahead of the boat and uh, see if it doesn't produce a little bit differently. We're gonna cruise over there and find out. Okay, we tried. Cool scenery over here. Yeah, we're coming up on a bigger gator now. place just got creepy this is insane like the ambient lighting is just eerie alligator infested waters Devin and I literally just saw a bigger alligator but we didn't get it on film like we were trying to get the camera out and he went underwater by the time we approached him look at this we're in the back cuts now of this lake and it's starting to look a little sketchy towards sunset we're gonna fish by this thing and then get out of here like this is it's trippy make a few casts also we just hit a big stump on the motor and it like turned itself off it like auto shut off so we're gonna have to deal with that in just a second. See if she'll kick back up. All right, y'all, we are calling it. What a crazy evening. Saw some alligators, got a little freaked out. Crazy storm, a lot of fun. Devin's going to get the truck, she's gonna back it in. And uh, we are going to get out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Be sure to subscribe, drop a like, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. We're trying to upload daily out here, so we'll probably see you guys tomorrow. What's your name, Weston? Yeah. I watch all y'all's videos. No way. That's dope. What's yeah. your name? Uh, Kaysen. Kaysen? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah, we're rarely down here. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, they never come to East Texas. This place is sick. Yeah. Nice to meet you guys.